So yesterday we made a video on how to wire up a single dual two ohm voice call sub and it just so happens that I have to wire up two of these shallow mount P3s inside of a truck box and they both are dual two ohm so I'm going to show you how to do that. First thing I usually do is take the terminal cups out and run my speaker wire through because I don't usually use the female quick disconnect connectors anymore. I like to strip the wire and solder it directly to the terminals. I just feel like it's going to look better, probably perform a little bit better. Maybe Maybe not but at least I know that while this thing is beating down the street I don't have to worry about the connection going loose because we use a connector and everything is soldered now I am going to wire this up using the series parallel method which means you are going to series each one of these two ohm voice coils inside the box separately to where we can make that dual two into a single four ohm sub and then we're going to parallel both of these at the amp so you know you're going to take one jumper from the positive on one side to the negative of the other one and then from the terminal cup we want to put the positive and negative on the ones that doesn't have a speaker wire inside of them right now now as I'm mounting this I just want to make sure it's straight now notice when I'm actually drilling the screws inside the box I like to protect it a little bit using my hand or my finger now the reason I do this is because you never know if that tip is gonna slip and if it does you may pierce the surround of the sub and I don't want to pay for the sub so I'd rather hit my finger than mess the sub up because he did not buy this for me he got it offline and i don't want to mess up this guy's appointment because he's already been waiting for now these shallow mount Rockford P3 subs are rated at about 400 watts RMS each which means when you combine those at the ohm load we want to make sure we have an amplifier that can provide anywhere from 700 to about 800 watts of RMS at 2 ohms. Now the amp that he decided to get was the Kicker 800.1 at 2 ohms it does anywhere from 6 to 700 watts so we should be around the same ballpark even though these subs can handle a little bit more power I think he'll be okay because he's not wanting too too much for this truck. At at the end of the day i hope you guys found some type of value in this video if you did hit that like button don't forget to subscribe share comment if you want to let's continue to grow and share car audio knowledge with everybody and it's your boy jp signing out telling you guys to keep going to keep growing and have a blessed day peace